Hello everybody, welcome back. So, let's continue Bloodborne and I'm gonna try... I think this is a boss fight ahead. Uh, so I'm gonna try to beat the boss. I want to get rid of... Oh, that's not what I wanted. How do I remove it? Yeah. So, what do I need? Molotovs and fire paper. I might want to... Do this and let's see. Yep, it's definitely. Can I? Can I parry you? Poison. Okay. Okay, that's not good. Very 
go. Oh, everybody needs to heal. Wait, there you go. Just to be sure. Oh, okay. 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 So... You married Chalice. Oh. Ah. Okay, it was not that hard actually. I did. Oh, I'm still losing my health. Oh, I should probably. I should probably. Well, can I? I shall wait. Let me heal some more. Okay, you're fine. Let's light the lamp. And what I'm gonna do now. Is I'm not going to go back right away, but oh, there's a thingy or antidote, and there was a couple more things that I wanted to do here in this area, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna show it. Anyway, I'll just uh, run around this arena. I don't think there will be anything else interesting, probably. Yep. But I'll I'll check it out on my own time and if I if I find anything I will just 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 show that. So I'll see you once I get to the places that I want to explore some more, and we'll continue there. All right. So I, as I was going back on these stairs in front of the boss arena, I found another one of those. Um, um, crystal lizard equivalents so i i got like three bloodstone shards or something so so that's that yeah um it was it was right over here anyway i'm gonna go back still right so we are back in this big hall and yeah there was there were these rafters and balconies and a couple of items that are lying around and I think I can get those, but I need to go from from this from this little bridge. And I wasn't successful last time, but below me is also something, so I'm gonna go drop down here and try to get it. Hopefully this way. Now let's check out this message here. Okay, oh, of course. Okay, so what is this? Cold blood to you. Nice. And now, hopefully, if I drop down here, I don't get hurt too much. Yeah, that's okay. It's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna go for these two over there. Up there. And there was also a thingy that I found here. And I checked, and it was uh, an item called Ritual Blood. And Ritual Blood might be somewhere. Somewhere. It was called Ritual Blood. Yeah, this one. So, material used in a holy chalice ritual. One of the basic ingredients used to satiate a holy, holy, holy chalice is this incoagul... Oh my god, I cannot pronounce it. In coagulable... Coagula... I can pronounce it in my native language. Incoagulable blood. I don't know, sorry, sorry for that. When all is melted in blood, all is reborn. Okay, so. Anyway, is this the beast that we actually fought? But this time it's already dead and 
Springs up. Anyway, I'm gonna go and I will show how I get those remaining two items. Right, so we are up here and now I'm actually not sure if I can get both of these in one run. Physical attacks. I already read that. So. I think I can drop down here. That was almost bad. And this is... Oh, Molotovs. That's nice. And if I want to get this, I probably... Oh my god. Did I miss it? I did. That's bad. Right. So, I missed the jump. That's awful. So, I'm going going to have to do that again. So, I'll see you once I get here again. Alright. We are back here. And... So that's fine. I'm probably... No. Oh. Nice. Nice. That's it. So, we did it. And what is it? Bloody messenger head bandage. What is that? Is it a key item? Yes. Accessory adored by naive messengers imitating the bandages of scourge victims, unaware of their meaning. Spares of blood give it particularly nice touch. The inhabitants of the stump appear to have an interest in adornment, and let them be happy and revel as babes. Wonder what that is all about. Okay, so I think this is it in uh, this building, in this hall, and now I probably want to use, because I cannot survive the fall, so I'm gonna use the thingy, not this. What was it? Yeah. Bold Hunter's Mark. I thought that this was like a Ring of Sacrifice, but it's actually more like a... Mm. Oh, well. Now I can't remember. Yeah, do you wish to be reawakened? Yes. Oh my god, how it how how was it called in Dark Souls? Oh I'm here. Of course I'm here. Sure. But I didn't lose any of my any of my runes, so it did exactly what I thought it would do. Let's go back to the Hunter's Dream. I'm gonna use up the runes and probably I also want to try and upgrade some of the weaponry. Namely, the sword. Where are you again? Why are you not here? Oh, she's here. Welcome. What is it? Very Desire. Well. Let the echoes you. let me. Thank you. So, vitality, strength. I can do this, I suppose. Want to have higher endurance as well. That also. Farewell, good may you. Since the the combat here is really oh he's here again. Combat is really fast and high stamina. I think. The healing church. And good thing to have. Who belong to it were once guardians of the hunters in the times of the hunter. Ludwig. They worked and forged weapons in their unique workshop. Oh. Today, most ministers don't recall the hunters, but they have much to offer you. Will I find it? And so, heed the message of your forebears. Heed the message of your Ascend forebears. Send to, to a chapel. chapel. Ascend. Oh, he actually has a no oh, missing. He's missing a leg. He has a prosthesis. Ascend from there. I didn't want to. You will find sit down. Workshop. This story is not so good anyway for me to sit down. So I cannot. Nice. 
Well, should I... Whoa, I can try and work on this one as well. Because flames... Yep, we could. But I want to fortify crystal. Alright. It's plus three. And I will... Oh, I can also fortify, fortify the torch. Well, let's fortify the flame sprayer. That might be a good weapon. Maybe. Oh. Okay. And I have 21 more bloodstone shards. Yeah, that's, I think that's it. And now I'm gonna go and buy some... <laughs> some of these. Five. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we got 37 stored and 20 on us. That's... That's... That's alright. And... Also, let me check this stump here. Oh, they are here. Give accessories to messengers and they will obediently adorn them. Oh, so I can give them these things and they will have it on them. And I will they then have it in the nightmare? One more, one more thingy. Welcome. What is it? Do you have the anything else have to say? Me about the church, this is about, about the gods yeah. and their love. Right. But do the gods love their creations? I am a doll created by you humans. Would you ever think to love me? Of course. I do love you. Isn't that how you've made me? And that's an interesting question because that would mean that you have emotions. Hunters have told me and about complex the church, ones at that. About the gods and that. But I am with you. Of course, I do. Isn't that? Hmm. Farewell, May. Oh. I don't know. But uh, yeah, yeah. One more thing, actually. The chalice. We found a chalice, and that should be a key item. Is it not? Oh, maybe it's a chalice item. <laughs> of course. Rating 1. Umeru chalice. A ritual chalice found in the church of the good chalice. Used in a ritual at the tomb altar in the hunter's dream. Yes. To break the seal on the old underground labyrinth. Let the chalice reveal the tomb of the gods. Let blood be the hunter's nourishment and let he partake in communion. Okay, so I can use it somewhere here. A short ritual root chalice is required. Use the ritual to create a chalice dungeon with chalice ritual or to search for chalice dungeons created by hunters in other worlds. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to try that, but later. Later, but, but there was this this thingy here. Can we do? No, we're still missing a an item. Or that. anyway, there was one more thing at least that I wanted to do in Old Yarnum, and I think that thingy was at the beginning because. Due to the guy with the Gatling gun, I didn't explore the upper area to my full satisfaction. I'm gonna do that now. And it should be relatively, relatively easy, I think. Hello. Oh. Can I? Oh, he's... Oh. Okay, so he's sort of afraid. That. But not really. Only a little. Oh. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you for the blood vial. The blood vial from you. There was... Are you afraid of the fire? Nope. No. Let's keep it. Can I... Yep. Yeah. Can use it as a weapon. you no thank you for the bot while and thank you sir and now I think that's it not okay, maybe that's below me oh there is a staircase I didn't okay I didn't notice this one Isn't really anything here though. Well, maybe. Maybe over here. Nah. No, that's empty. Alright, so. This is it for this area, I think. And now, where should I go next? I can go to the Forbidden Wood, the forest, or whatever it was called. But I also want to check on the... Hmm. Want to check on the boss arena that we just, we've just been in. Just to be sure that I haven't missed anything there after because the dude in the wheelchair said that we should follow something and I'm not sure what he meant by it so is there anything here maybe i need to do something with the chalice and if i Hit this. No, nothing. Oh, there is this sound. Which I'm not sure where it is coming from. But I guess it's fine. So, I think this will be it for today. We managed to kill the Bloodstar Beast and finished exploring i suppose this old yarnum and in the next episode we'll probably go to the forbidden woods or i will probably run around this part a bit offline and see if i can find any messages that would be that would direct me somewhere we'll see anyway i hope you enjoy the episode thank you for watching it and i'll catch you next time bye